Hey guys, I wanted to show you how to program an Aeolian XP35 amp switch with a BSC included. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I had a lot of dramas myself trying to program this. Um, because the instructions, the, the uh, I don't know whether it's a Chinese translation, it pretty much does not tell you how to do it correctly. Um, it just tells you to plug the battery in and it makes a series of beeps and off you go when you set your transmitter into the right sequence of things. Well that's just a load of rubbish. Um, I found through experience, because I thought that uh, through experimenting, I thought this was faulty, this unit, but um, it's not. I've, I've actually worked out how to do it. Okay, so we've got the positive here and your negative here, and I've theoretically say well that's positive there and the bottom one's negative and the third wire goes to the to your um, field winding on the on the on the three wire motor. I've got an Aeolian uh, motor as well, an outrunner motor. That's a forty three hundred I think it is. Um, so what you do is you connect your you actually different to most other uh, ECs that I've seen tutorials on. But this one you actually connect up to the motor. So red's the top one, so I'll plug it into red. Um, and I, the reason I thought it was faulty was because I never did. I didn't plug it up to the motor. I thought, well, I'll just give it a try and see what happens. Uh, and the other reason was I was waiting for some screws for the motor because the Aeolian motor is a different size screw that's actually three mil uh, screw that's that mounts to the mount so you actually have to drill a three three mil slot in the in the mount for the motor into the helicopter so this is my carbon fiber helicopter um, it's, a, it's basically a copy of a version 3 uh, T-Rex 450 Sport uh, it's got some quite cool features but anyway we'll talk about <coughs> this, this uh, ESC. Okay, so what you've got to do now is now you've got the three wires plugged in. You've got your red, follow the red to red, black to black, and then the field winding to the to the yellow wire in the middle. Okay, so you've got your transmitter. Uh, this is a Radio Link six channel. Doesn't really matter. Uh, what you've got to do is I set this to full throttle to get it into program mode and then turn it on, my voltage is a bit low um, in this case I leave the throttle hold off um, because when you actually enter program mode it just doesn't actually energize the motor so I found that out uh, through experimenting but also another thing I found with this particular transmitter was the um, throttle position was reversed. When it was up here it thought it was at idle and when it was down here it thought it was at full throttle so I did a quick change in the program on here to, to reverse that around. Um, yep so basically full throttle makes sure all your switches are, are down and then turn your, turn your transmitter on and leave that in full throttle. Okay so now you plug your your battery, you hook your, hook your battery up and up to your ESC. I'm going to make it just hold on to it just in case. Okay, so that's that's in program mode now. It's making those series of noises. Now according to the sheet here, which is correct, <coughs> um, it goes through a loop of nine of nine different commands. The first the short one you hear is the brake. You set that to off. So to get into each one, we'll, we'll do each one as we go. So that's Okay, that's the last one in the loop. So now we're gonna go to brake and pull down to idle and then it will stop and then it, and it gives a series of tones now so the first tone is off, second tone is soft brake, 
third, third tone is hard break. So you want to set that off, so you move it back to full throttle, and that's set that one. It moves to the second one. So you pull that down, that second beep beep is timing, so the next function, and now it goes through a set of beeps for that. So we want to get that to first, first beep is low, two beeps is mid, and three beeps is high. So we want that on high, so we wait till we hear three tones, and move that to full. Okay, so that's moved through to the next one. Start mode. Pull it down again, and that goes through the series of sequences for start mode. So we've got fast, soft, and very soft. Three tones. We want it on very soft. Okay, so now it goes up to cutoff mode. That's four. Throttle curve. Pull that down. We want the first throttle curve. Auto, uh, next one's the uh, cell count. We want that on auto detect. Cut off, cut off. I'm not too sure what the cut off threshold is actually. I need to have a look what that is. And that three long tones is the end of the of the list. So we've got break. We've got timing, I'll pull that into timing, we want that on high, we've got low, medium, high, it's just accepted that, cut off mode, one beep reduced power, yes, that's what we want, throttle curve, Cell detection, that's your cell detection there. I'm not too sure what the cutoff is, I'll have a look at that. And motor rotation is the last one. And it'll just keep going through that loop, and that's the end. So you can actually pull that down to idle to, to end it. Okay, so when we hear the, the three long beeps, we should be able to pull that down to idle, and it should go through the check. Three, the three three beeps is the how many cells on the phone? Ah, oh, sorry, on the um, battery, and my log voltage is low on here, so that's re actually ready to go. So if I start spinning that up. Okay, and I've got throttle hold here, that all works, and it's a safety to have on throttle hold. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much it. And then you just disconnect your uh, receiver and turn it off. Done.